Authority is to do justice. Justice means I will speak on behalf of those who have no voice. I believe that justice is going to become more and more important for us in the years to come. It's going to be much more vital that we give attention not only to the voice of the unborn, the poor have very little voice in shaping how things are done. And throwing money at a problem is seldom the answer to the problem. There's a shift on the inside. Poverty starts in here. And it's, not, it's, it's never making people a project. It's just saying, come with me. I want to show you how to succeed in this part of life. I have a friend who actually buys rundown homes, and he, he rebuilds them. He brings a family that's locked into poverty, brings them into the home, and mentors them, arranges a year or two long mentoring program where they live in that home. They learn to steward the home. They learn to, to channel the resources. He gives them. Then after a period of time, he sells them that home at a ridiculously reduced and cheap rate so they can afford it. And he mentors them out of the cycle of poverty into a lifestyle where they succeed. They get broken out of that thing. They've got all new appliances, all new everything. What's the point? The point is, is if material things are evil, then we are cursing the poor by wanting them out of their cycle of poverty. So the answer is not having nothing. The answer is learning how to steward what we have in a way that actually brings glory to God. <laughs> For that to succeed well, the jealousy thing has to be shot in the head. That issue of jealousy. Because Proverbs says, the way you handle another person's possessions actually determines what you can have on your own. Which means, next time you rent a car, take care of it as though it were your own. Because the way you handle another person's possession. So let's take that a step farther. So you need a promotion at work and your friend gets it. You've just been given another man's possession. That's a testimony. What do you do with that testimony? If you celebrate it, you're becoming qualified for your own promotion. If you're jealous of it, you've just dis disqualified yourself for the very thing you've been asking for. I believe the Lord frequently, we pray for things. I believe his, his most common way of answering our big prayers is by giving us the seed to the answer. The Lord oftentimes chooses to give us the acorn instead of the oak tree we prayed for. Why? Because in caring for the acorn, that process develops the character in me to contain the answer once it's, once it's given without the answer actually destroying me. A couple of years ago, uh, when the first year, the, the last year that our first year school of ministry met here inside the sanctuary, when I walked into the room, I felt the Lord tell me that somebody had prayed for $500 that morning. So I, when it was my turn to, uh, to get up and teach, I, I just started by saying, somebody this morning asked the Lord for $500. Who was it? And there's a lady right down here. She said, I did. I said, you asked for 500 this morning. She said, yeah, I, I did this morning. So I said, well, come up here. And I didn't have 500, but I had a 50. So I, I gave her the 50. I said, it's not 500. But I said, there is 500 in the 50. In the same way, there's an oak tree in an acorn, and there are unlimited number of acorns in the oak tree. And so I gave her the money, not knowing what would happen, just knowing that that was as much as I was told. I heard two weeks later, she went to the store that evening, grocery store, and there's a young family there that couldn't afford all the groceries they had. She pulled the 50 out, and she helped pay for their groceries, thinking, there goes the $50. Well, the Bible says, when you give to the poor, you lend to the Lord, and his interest rates are incredible. <laughs> incredible. Talk about, talk about good interest rates. You want to do banking with Jesus, trust me. You want to do banking with Jesus. She drives home, and when she gets home, somebody drives up with $500 for her. Now, I love that story. I'm also glad it doesn't happen that way that fast every day, or we would reduce God to a slot machine where we put 50 in and get 500 out about every 20 minutes, right? But it's a beautiful story where you and I have asked the Lord for certain things. What does he do? He gives us a seed.